Shalom, everyone. I hope that you are doing absolutely fantastic. Shabbat Shalom. So if you are new, I'm just Hebraic. I'm not Jewish or churchy or religious. And uh, I just uh, keep Shabbat, and Shabbat is the Sabbath. And so um, I love the Word, and it's found in the tarot. And so I give scripture and stuff on my channel when I am reading. Uh, I love Yehovah Elohim, and I keep covenant with him, and I'm not ashamed of him, and if you are, then this is where you're going to click off my channel. Otherwise, welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm glad to have you here. Uh, it's real talk on my channel. We don't hold back in any way, shape, or form, and we just let the great one speak as he wants to, and uh, we just uh, allow him to speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, by way of love. And um, walking in the light as he is in the light. And there's no other way. So anyway, if it's your birthday, happy birthday to you. Happy anniversary too. If you are having an anniversary, um, if you're down and out, I said you love and light, and I get it. <laughs> and we're going to make it through, people. We really are. We just stay true and um, learn how to transmute some stuff from within, past hurts, all kinds of stuff like that. We will make it. We really, really will. So let's see what's going on with you all. I did a the Shabbat reading over here and shared it on my other channel. And then I did a daily reading and shared it over here. <laughs> and so I'm doing y'all's reading and I'll share it over on my other channel. So if you all are affiliated with my other channel, um, then I guess you see all of it. Otherwise, I guess you just wait around until whatever's uploaded on this channel. You all, I appreciate you today. I thank you for the Shabbat. Sweet Shalom only comes from you. And I thank you that you are a, a shield around about us. Help our minds to just be at rest and at peace whatever needs to be revealed here in this message uh, then just let it come to the lot so it can be transmuted and uh, either forgiven or dealt with however uh, you see fit um, for the thing to, to be brought to the surface for it to um, be dealt with so peace could be had for any given person uh, two cards I, out of two different decks I drew this morning stated that something hidden was going to come to the lot. And so somebody's going to get some type of information that's going to come to the lot. And I guess we are. As Jehovah revealed it, let every word be established in two or three witnesses. Jehovah, what do you want to bring out here? Jehovah, rebuke and bind and block every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy right here, right now. Shove it down to the pit where it belongs. You cannot pass into this realm because we take authority over you in Yeshua HaMashiach's name. Right here, right now. I just thank you, Father, for uh, going before us and preparing the way. So we got several that came out, actually. I guess we'll take them. They all came out. So we have the dreamer, the fool is here, or a new start, or something that was signed or marked, or something like that. We have the letter T out here. We also have third-party energies for some people trading things. This goes back to manifesting ideas and things like that. We also have the moon. The moon came out in my first reading today. All right, well, we've got secrets, secrets about third parties and something that was traded, maybe even in secret. I don't know. Something's known about something that has been secret as well, because this is I know, okay? I feel, and somebody's feeling something, and they know what they're feeling about maybe even a third party or about something that was traded, something passionate is here, and uh, so what if this is? The emperor is here. This is a father figure, a boss figure as well. There's some type of a date that has been here as well. Um... It's some something is here with a door because the, this is the Dalit, right? So we have if somebody came in a door, signed something, did something, marked a place out, maybe on a date. Uh, if you are new, I take all kinds of things that come through my spirit and let you hold it to speak expressively because the spirit is expressive. And I use the Hebraic living language because the tarot is wrapped up in it. So we have the D and, and two T's out here, connections of somebody's last name um, where you got... Uh, first place or a thing, first middle or last name. We have two T's out here and a D thus far. This is the door, the key, the, the opening or shutting or going in and out of something. If something has been foolish and this stupid fool can't get out of his freaking vomit. 
then the scripture tells us that it'll go right back into its folly. It, otherwise, this is just a clean slate. Something's ended. Somebody's opening or shutting the door on some type of third party or something that was traded. Then I guess it is. Even if it is uh, emotional within the home, the moon goes back to our home or the mother or children or things like that. I did see the six of cups in my other reading. But we do have a father figure and a boss energy here with the uh, emperor. I spoke about the emperor today in the um, giants that uh, Jehovah was talking to me about. The four of wands is here. So uh, let me move these over since we got several cards that came out. Uh, celebration things going on. Um, something about headship and being the head of uh, maybe a celebration or head of household is here with the home situation. Something's known though about a father or something's known about an older person or something about an empire energy is here as well for dealing with governmental things and we are for some people. Somebody's been trying to block something and it's been emotional because there's some type of protection situation here as well with the emperor. There are third parties. This is collaborating things with the three of pentacles and maybe you're trying to work something out with just three people in your family. It's just emotional and you know that you need to do something here um, or somebody is a third party and they traded something and it's emotional and it was foolish for some of you all that could be the case we have the six of swords also coming out here and leaving troubled waters behind and the hermit is here this is about putting a um putting a judgment on something so we have three t connections out here okay and so whatever that is for any given person um we've got we got T connections in three cards that could be found. This is a snake in the basket as we know, right? Somebody trying to catch somebody up in some stupid net and pull them down in clay. It ain't going to happen if you're walking with the true, uh, the true one, right? This is putting a judgment on something that's been filthy. This is to be able to leave troubled waters behind in some type of a way to get out of your head because there's been stormy waters here. To shut the door on some things, okay? And then protect your mind and take down every thought that tries to lift itself up over what Jehovah says to do, okay? So if you are dealing with legal matters and we do have, you know, authority and a judge or somebody's just got a lot of wisdom here about knowing something that's taking place within the home with an authority figure with somebody who's in leadership here and it's been a filthy situation and somebody just been trying to block or protect it is what's showing up out here so we have the star here as well well that can be positive or negative with the star in the deck it represents something that is guided something that is led a, a relationship energy is here we have the the phonics of a date here as well um, this is the P with the PD type energy to redeem something would be here then with that word as we do know uh, so the law would be here since we have a judge we also have a physician somebody needs to heal something the star represents healing something somebody's been something about somebody's pet could be here there's a tip there's a tap there's a top <laughs> as well out here uh, within uh, some phonics maybe you're a dancer then maybe you're in the stop stardom or spotlight or something's known here in a very big way um, with the 11th house it's I know something I know that something's led I know that something's possibly even bad luck the stars have fall if you've fallen uh, that energy if we want to take it to uh, scripture as I do and uh, we know that the stars would fall to the to to uh, the earth as well in the prophecy and that energy in the negative is bad luck to something here that is known because something has been filthy around a situation. All right, let's take from my homemade decks. If you are new, this is all the energy that's come out. I'm going to pick from this. Let you hold a pick. Okay, so there's something deceptive here within something. Obviously, because somebody's tried to catch somebody up. Something about a laundromat is here, and that's nothing more than somebody just needs to clean something up. Okay, because somebody got some filthy garments on, I guess they do. Otherwise, maybe you work for a laundromat or something about a laundromat or whatever. Be nice to go to a laundromat. I have to do my freaking clothes in the bathtub. Uh, 50 years old, shouldn't have to. It's got uh, your daughter, your daughter-in-law energy is here. This came out for the Aries season. 
okay, and the sun right now is in where the emperor would be found. We have a witness and a testifying energy here, something about a record. There is a charge of something. Again, we have a judge here. We have authority energy here. Something is guided within it. Even if something has been bad luck within it, there's some type of healing or moving out of some stupidness where a third party has been. Uh, somebody has a witness to something because somebody knows of some type of foolishness and deception that's been around. So we have your, your daughter or your daughter-in-law. We have the mother energy here. So you'll have to bring it on out. Uh, truth sets you free. Yes, it does, people. Truth will set you free and you know it. Safety energy is here. We have somebody trying to protect something. We have had some type of a quarrel. A spark energy is here. This is uh, talking about uh, the sparkling colors also coming off of metal when it's struck or the petals of a flower like sparks off of metal. Something about uh, a flower type of energy could be here as well. You know, you just pick it. Uh, someone, someone's hand is, is being forced in the matter. Well, we got a judgment here on something. The emperor energy would be forcible type of energy because this is somebody in leadership here that has an arm to do something. Hopefully it's in the upright and get up and take a risk and uh, that it won't be foolish. It'll just give a clean slate. It will heal something that's been filthy and dirty. There's hot volume uh if this is in the upright, people, regardless of what's been deceptive, there's been a third party around, and somebody's probably going to say, screw that, because especially what I spoke about today, it has some some understanding by way of the great one. And somebody needs to force somebody's hand, put a judgment on something that's been filthy, and clean a matter up, okay? Somebody does have some type of a, um, a record of something where a charge needs to be had, or was had, or wasn't, or however this energy is, you always bring something out. Uh, Yoga says that for his anger endures for a moment, but in his favor is life. Yes, weeping may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. That's incredible because we got nighttime stuff here, and the sun came out today for the Shabbat reading that I read about and then spoke about star seeds and everything else. So that's kind of interesting. Yoga will bring this out. First fruits of some things, or firstborn energy is here, something that's choice within something okay so what if this is you'll just bring it out a runner energy is here we have a cashier so we do have money situations that are that are going on for some people knowing about we've got business here knowing about maybe third party and something that was traded or collaborated or something like that um, so whatever that is, or maybe you're a runner, or some, something about a cashier is here. Those who wait upon Jehovah shall not be ashamed. That's right. You know, Jehovah's the one leading something, people. We don't lean on the arm of the flesh. Jehovah says that is cursed. Okay? If you know something, you should do something, and you don't do it, that's also called sin unto you. But at the same time... Uh, you know, if you, if you, if something's taken place and some third party got in and did something and caused some stupid ruckus, you don't lean on that. You'll hope and make a way where there seems to be no way or well, whatever that is. Something's known. Something's very much known here in a very big way about something that was foolish and third party situations. That's so we, so we have the, the letter pay goes back to our face, goes back to our mouth. Okay, it's the letter P in the Hebrew, and so then we have the letter P, the pethro, I guess how you say it in the um, runes. It's a dice box, okay, and this is about diplomacy and the ability and control of some type of situation and protection assured. We have protection here with the emperor as well. We have safety up here. Some type of a truth needs to come forth, and somebody's going to force somebody's hand in something or that was past energy and it caused some weeping to occur but there's some type of um energy here coming out with the dice box to make some type of uh, protection to be assured in a situation okay this is also a, like a stroke of genius we got genius energy here but if that thing's prideful in its own mind that's all it does is just freaking cause a war and there's giants around and some stupid tyrant type of energy all right maybe you are dealing with a um a gambler Okay, since this is a dice box, something maybe came out of that. Uh, sometimes we've had that come out before. There's a cashier here. Somebody is a gambler and they stole something out of the cashier 
something and something happened. Somebody got some type of a witness and somebody needs to force their hand taking jail, I guess. There needs to be some type of judgment on something. Something's filthy here. Whatever it has been. Uh, we're getting two peas out here. And I want to say that that can trace me back if I go look it up in the... Um, in the Hebrew, I want to say it takes you back to a dog. We've got a pup here. And we have, you know, the fool often will show a dog energy as well. We have a pet in the phonics as well. So something with somebody's pet or something like that. Maybe you're a teacher, teacher's pet. Sometimes that will come out as well in some type of situation. You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. You never know, dear, how much I love you. Please don't take my sunshine away. I used to sing that to my, my grandson. Um, on the other side, so there's somebody here that's that flatters people. And to beware, if that's past energy, because there are third parties here, you need to be careful with that. Because there's a deception as well. And so somebody knows about that. That somebody's just always coming back around. That they're known to do that. Well, something's known then about that filthy type of energy. That is filthy. That's spiritual filthiness. Uh, to just flatter. Just to be flattery. Jehovah's doing something here. And some type of... I feel like that's past energy. Because we have leaving these troubled waters behind. We have somebody's hands going to be forced in something. It's known about some type of healing that's here. We have the ultimate type of healing that can catch a snake that's been trying to put somebody down in clay because there's been third parties here and has been trying to block some stupidness. So something is definitely being guided and led in this reading. I do feel led to take um, one of these Hebraic words out of this deck. Yo, but what else do you want to bring out here, please? Thank you. Please forgive me. Yes, okay, so... We had somebody that was insecure in my other reading. There is healing here. Somebody's been caught up in some type of a third party thorns and thickets. And somebody's been trying to be an intruder. Or they were just real uh, penetrating within words. Or you are dealing with somebody who just likes to, you know, that's devil energy. The devil is piercing. Okay. And uh, Jehovah's putting a judgment on people who do that crap. They're getting out of the earth. They need to be burned. So his... His arm is here. The the yod is here. Work and deed and authority is here. So somebody's arm is being forced. Is that what it stated? Something like that. Well, then his arm comes out here. So that's amazing. So that's positive energy that's coming out for somebody to know that there is some type of uh, knowledge about somebody that was just using somebody I guess it collaborated some stupid brought some type of real emotion here and it was deceptive and there's some type of a witness to a record of a situation that's going to be judged now because it was filthy and it needs to be cleaned up and so weeping may endure for a night but joy comes in the morning so please forgive because if you don't you'll never be forgiven either until next time shalom